Hey guys, it's your good old buddy KP Giants fan here, and I'm back with some more uh, Blood Dragon action. Now let's continue on with this fun and exciting playthrough. Uh, this is a hell of a game. It's a lot of fun. And uh, before I start getting into my uh, you know discussion on the the new consoles that are becoming out uh, fairly soon here, um, kind of want to mention that this game may seem repetitive. Uh, it, it, what does it basically seem like? You know, okay, liberate a garrison, do a side mission or two, rinse and repeat. That's not really exactly what's going on here. Um, if you really wanted to, you could just blow through the game. But that takes a lot of fun out of it, because you get some really fun attachments to these weapons. Um, I'm talking stuff like explosive sniper rifle rounds. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to fire explosive rounds with your sniper rifle? Uh, that's when it starts getting pretty cool. Uh, like a uh, double barrel, even up to a quad barrel shotgun. Are you serious? Um, yeah, you know, the pistol is what it is, and there are some other weapons. Ah, let's just go fucking kill these guys and help my scientist buddies out real quick. Um, yeah, the, the, the rifle, the machine gun, you know, turns into basically a fucking laser rifle. So that in itself, that's cool too, man. I mean, come on. And there are other weapons, like I said. You do pick up a couple more later on in this game, but uh, I'll, I'll get to that when we get there. Uh, there's a, looks like a dragon up there. Ah, who cares? Let's just get out of here. We'll pilfer what we can and move on, right? So, another thing why it's a good reason to go around, besides all the attachments... Uh, you know, you get for your weaponry. And you gain experience points. You know, especially by... Uh, you also gain attachments, by the way, by picking up, you know, VHS tapes and TV sets and all that stuff. And I see a little squad here. I'm going to try to get around behind him and chuck a grenade by that vehicle that I spotted and see if I can just blow them all away at once without even breaking a sweat. So, this should work if I throw it in the right spot. So, here we go. You also gain skills with your experience points uh, and health bars. So, and the skills are pretty damn useful. Like, yeah. You'll be able to take less fire damage. Uh, you'll be able to do, uh, you know, you can take down, like the, the knife takedowns. You'll be able to do that to the, even the big heavies. You can power them up enough. There's like a grenade takedown. You can snatch enemy weapons and use that. Like, uh, you'll, you'll see what I mean. When I start acquiring those more the skills, I'll start using them. You know, kind of like the shrieking thing. It, it gets pretty cool. Once this character, once Rex is beefed up, oh, man, it, it's really fun to rampage through the game. So... I personally think it's a lot of fun to get all beefed up when we uh, continue on with the story. And I believe that's what the makers of the game did. I know maybe they 13 garrisons may be a little, a little much. But, uh, like I said, they're all unique. Hell, there's even some that are, uh, you know, like, f how do you explain it? it? Like an island. I mean, like a, like a man-built island. Um, you know, with patrolling boats, with machine gun dudes uh, riding around that. So there are some exciting, you know, different uh, garrisons. Like this one here is a bit different, too, than the other ones. If you'll see if I look in here, it's a... Uh, oh, shit, there's a sniper over there. And he's fucking spotted me. So let's go around. And uh, I didn't take out the Mega Shield last time. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that this time. Let him bring a dragon in here. Because if reinforcements get called in on this particular uh, garrison, the enemies are going to bring in helicopters. And I'm not really equipped right now to deal with a helicopter. I remember... Uh, while filming this, actually a buddy of mine happened to come over here. We were drinking some beer. Um, it, 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 this was pretty late at night, and I was starting to get a little buzzed. So I was making some really stupid mistakes, like <laughs> uh, like missing with these fucking grenades. I don't know how many of these he's gonna goddamn take. Come on, man. Come on, KB. You're killing me. I'm killing myself watching this, dude. Jeez. Let me take a. I'm gonna take a sip of beer while I cook that grenade and finally get it right, huh? Okay. Now that that's done. Alright, fucking... Dude, now there's a patrol stopped. Alright, come on. That grenade didn't seem to work. Alright, now I'll fire an arrow and miss. But remember, I'm starting to get a little bit buzzed at this point. Me and my buddy were playing this game because he'd never seen it. And uh, I was like, you know what? He, he was messing around, you know, with early on. I was like, fuck, let's just record, dude. Let's see what I can get on this. Uh, let's see if I can make it some fun. He's kind of a fan of my YouTube. He, he does not really into YouTube videos too much. He, he's kind of like me. He's, you know, he, he's a, more of a casual gamer, though. Um, he's got three kids of his own, you know, uh, just a buddy of mine. Um, he's on some of my YouTube videos, uh, like Call of Duty and stuff. He's he's mainly into Far Cry 3, though, like the actual game, because he just got it recently. So he just kind of wanted to check out Blood Dragon what it was all about, because I kept telling him, it's like, fuck, dude, you've got to play this game. Um, me and him have been playing online games together for a long time. He's one of my favorite teammates, so... Anyway, enough about that. Uh, you kind of watch me as I go traverse through this garrison and liberate and waste ammo like an idiot. And, uh, by the way, I'm going to end up killing this dragon, so I'll show you that now. Um, the best way to do it is you... We don't have explosive rounds yet, because that's my favorite way of doing it, so he's... Oh, fuck you. I'm going to blow your ass away with this machine gun. If I hit him in the head, it should work good enough, I think. Got a lot of damn health, though. So, yeah, explosive rounds. Once we get those, it's going to make things a lot more... 
a lot more entertaining. It's a lot more fun to fight enemies. Uh, and plus, you get your quad barrel shotgun. You can even get fire rounds. It's not something I like to use, though. Because those fire rounds, they, if you're in close quarters where the shotgun is meant to do, you can set yourself on fire so easily that it seems like a fucking waste of time. So, you'll see me kill this dragon here. Um, I'm going to kind of hide in a bunker and just kind of toss explosives at him. And if you get a clear shot at the kind of the red area, glowing area on the chest, you know, where the heart would be, that's where you want to fire at him. But like I said, these weapons, it, it's going to, we're going to burn all our ammo up, basically, and... It's probably not a good idea to try to shoot them. So you want to use up all your explosives. Just go ahead and use them all up. And after that, you can go ahead and fire at them. So I'm getting kind of low on ammo as it is anyway. I don't even have a full clip left. Well, maybe I do. Okay. Kill this last fucking guy. I think that's the last dude. All right, here we go. Dragon's coming at me. So go in here and hide, and this is how I'm going to kill him. So anyway, the new consoles. Um, you guys have probably noticed I never have ever owned an Xbox. I don't know why I've ever talked to, I've never really discussed this. I probably have a little bit, um, and not to a, to, to a big, you know, huge extent. As you can see, those grenades don't do much damage. But we're, we're just going to whittle away at it. We're going to, you know, kind of just, you know, pick away this fucking health. And hopefully we can kill this fucking dragon and not die. So I'm just kind of shooting at him, whittling his health down lower and lower. And if you get his health down really low, by the way, if you're playing this and you want a trophy, uh, get his health whittled down to the bottom and fire arrows at him. Uh, you will get a trophy for killing a dragon with a bow. So. But Xbox. I've just... I've always been a loyal Nintendo guy, straight up. Uh, you know, my first system was actually called an Odyssey. I think I've talked about that before. Um, I think it was the Odyssey 2. It had a little stick and one little red button. That thing was cool for its time. And then I got a Nintendo. Uh, I had a Super Nintendo, uh, you know, a Nintendo 64, you know, as I get, got older, and then a GameCube, and uh, a Wii, there we go, fuck that dragon, take that shit, and uh, of course you shoot up the rock and roll side for killing him, and I'm almost out of ammo here, and I'm, god, I have nothing left, do I, kill these fucking guys, how many of them are there, for goddamn sake, anyway, always been a Nintendo guy, I own a Wii, I don't really play it, I mean, I think I have what, maybe one or two games that are actually mine. I think, like, Zelda Twilight Princess and, like, the Metroid Tribe, Metroid Prime Trilogy or something like that. You know, I've got a, cool, a couple of games for it, but... Now we've got that uh, Garrison Liberated. Um, you know, I've also been a pretty uh, loyal Sony guy. I've owned all three PlayStations. I've got a, I've got a PSP, but I don't really play it that often. It's more or less uh, for me when I travel. I have, like, the arcade collections where it has, like, you know, 20... 20 to 30 old Capcom games, or, or, you know, like Midway, all the old classics. That's the stuff I like to play on my PSP. Um, like the old Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy 1 and 2, you know, how they kind of re-released those with revamped graphic, graphics. Uh, wait, Final Fantasy 2, it was Final Fantasy 2 here on the Super Nintendo. I think that game is really Final Fantasy 4. So, ah, well. Anyway, forget that. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, take out this next Predator mission, shall we? Um... Uh, let me take another sip of this drink. What about the Xbox? I really don't know what they're thinking, man. Um, number one, it costs more than the PS4. And that's cool if it was better. Um, I'm not, I don't want to start on Xbox, three, uh, you know, Xbox, PlayStation War, guys, because I really don't give a shit. It's, I personally think it's personal preference up until now. Now, if, you know, we're going to have to pay for to play online multiplayer, that's not a big deal to me. Um, I've discussed that already. Um, as long as the service is decent. Um, but Xbox, you, you, are, are they really not going to allow people to play used games on a console? I mean, they're, con they're committing... That's corporate suicide, if you ask me. I mean, seriously. Who in their right mind is going to want to buy an Xbox 360 when you can't even buy used games? Now, most of my friends... You know, I'm, I'm 34 years old. Most of the, my buddies, you know, a lot of us are married, a lot of us have kids, um, pretty much everybody I know, except for, you know, the people I hang around with, we've all got kids, and, uh, you know, not everyone wants to shell out 60 bucks for a video game. Just because we have the money doesn't mean we want to spend it on freaking games. And a lot of my buddies do wait, they get used games or they borrow them from me, because I'm kind of, I mentioned this in the last video, I'm kind of the guy who's got all the games. Um, that's kind of... What's kind of fun about this YouTube, because I've mentioned before, I do get paid for these YouTube videos. Um, I'm, now, real quick, what I'm doing here, that sniper is the most dangerous to me, so I'm going to pick him off. And then, that guy in the yellow is the one we're going to have to use the pistol on. So I fucking just aim fail here and say, you know, I hit that heavy guy. He's not going down. I'm going to have to use the pistol anyway. So that guy with the yellow arrow above his head, he's the one I want to take out. 
I just go take him out with the pistol, then I can use whatever means necessary to kill the rest of these guys, and I'll be good to go. So he's done. All right, now we've taken out the side mission. Throw a grenade here. That grenade should blow up both those cars. Take out all those dudes. Now we've got the heavy left. So, I really... If you plan on buying an Xbox One or whatever it's called, um, I would really like to understand why. It, I don't see anything better about the Xbox One than the PlayStation 4. I see nothing. No reason, no intention to buy one. I've never owned an Xbox. I've never owned an Xbox 360. I just never have. It's just, you know, some people have their opinions, and uh, that's just mine. So, um, <laughs> kind of just an all-over-the-place little, uh, little video here. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll be back to, uh, oh, it looks like I got some upgrades I'm going to purchase for my gun. So this is going to be kind of interesting. I'm going to go ahead and clear up all these uh, TV sets and all that stuff. You won't see me doing that. And then I will pick it up. Uh, I haven't decided. I'm probably going to hit up that, that garrison right there. That's probably where I'm going to go, to that one in the bottom, uh, the southeast. We've cleared the northeast. Let's hit up the southeast next. Sounds like a plan to me. So uh, peace out from your good old buddy, KB Giants fan. Later, guys.